Welcome everybody, it's another Wednesday, which means another Star Trek product review. For those of you who watched um, the last two videos I made on Wednesday, you know that uh, today I'm going to talk again about the book Star Trek, the original series 365 by Paula M. Block. And this is the part three, the final part of this video. And today I'm going to show you uh, the part of the book which is dedicated to season three. It starts with Spectre of the Gun. You can see a detail of the alien head. This is a nice picture of our main heroes. Wyatt Earp. This was an, quite an enjoyable episode, even though historically inaccurate. Elan of Troyus, based vaguely upon Helen of Troy. The wonderful Klingon ship. Great looking model. Now here you can see some pictures from a deleted scene which was lost for many years and was released finally on the Blu-ray box set called Roddenberry's Vault last year. The Paradise Syndrome. Which, as I read, is now considered racist for some reason. Here you can see some sketches of the Indian teepees. And the obelisk. The Enterprise Incident, Kirk as a Romulan, yeah, the famous Vulcan death grip, and the children shall lead, one of the dumbest episodes ever, which you can say about almost every single episode in season 3. And speaking about dumb episodes, Spock's brain. <laughs> brain and brain, what is brain? <laughs> this is one of the best episodes to watch when you're drunk. Yeah, there is a live theatrical presentation of an actual Star Trek episode. Spock's brain. That could be fun to see live. <laughs> Now, is there in truth no beauty? Again, pretty dumb, but actually enjoyable. Diana Muldor and the Empath. I remember when I've seen this for the first time as a kid, I hated this episode, but through the years it did grow on me promotional pictures of our free heroes and the Tholian web. A nice tinfoil head of our alien villain. Detail of the spacesuit. For the world is hollow, and I have touched the sky. The Enterprise tries to outrun the huge asteroid ship. The Bird's Dream by DeForest Kelly one of his books and of course a picture of the forest and his dog day of the Dao. again an interesting concept for an episode but the execution could be much better it's not horrible or anything but it could be much much better And the famous episode, Plato's Stepchildren. 
which is famous for the so-called first interracial kiss on American television. But some sources claim that it's actually the second recorded kiss between, of course, a black woman, Uhura, and a white man, Captain Kirk. This is a detail of Mr. Spock's LP. Or actually, Leonard Nimoy's LP. This is a picture from a blooper from an episode called Wing of an Eye. And this is a picture from the remastered edition. Now, that which survives. Again, interesting concept, but the execution could be much better. And Mr. Matt Jeffries, I think this is. With a warm cell from the huge Enterprise model. Now, let that be your last battlefield, another famous episode. And another episode which has an interesting idea behind it, but could the execution could be much, much better. But it's quite, uh, quite an enjoyable anti-racism episode. Whom gods destroy? Now, this was just bad, in my opinion. The Mark of Gideon. Again, an interesting idea. A story about overpopulation. But as usually, as I say, with almost every episode, it could be much better. The Lights of Zetar. This wasn't that bad, if I remember correctly. I haven't seen this one for a couple of years. One of the few episodes where Scotty had a girlfriend. Oh, the cloud minders. The only interesting thing is the flying city, which was an inspiration for the flying city in The Empire Strikes Back. And this is the CGI version of the city used for the remastered version of the episode and the way to Eden. Oh my god. Ah, one of the worst, most annoying episodes ever. Herbert. The sad thing is that it was based on a story by DC Fontana. Requiem for Methuselah. Again, interesting concept, poor execution, but this is a very nice digital matte painting of Flynn's new home. The original version just reused the matte painting from the cage. And the Savage Curtain. Again, interesting idea, poor execution. And the sad thing is that this is based upon a script by Gene Roddenberry himself. And all our yesterdays, my absolute favorite episode of the third season. And I would really hope if this was uh, the last episode of the whole TV show, it would be much better. Then the next episode, which is Turnabout Intruder. Again, based upon a story by Gene Roddenberry, this is a really bad episode. If you haven't seen it, I almost recommend it just to see William Shatner 
uh, act like a woman. That's the only kind of entertaining part. This is a nice bookend. Just like the first episode, also this last episode contains a scene in the sick bay where Dr. McCoy examines Captain Kirk on this bed. And that was the final episode. So now let's take a look at some merchandise. There was a lot of it during the years, as you can imagine. Star Trek utility belt. Star Trek skydiving parachutist. Star Trek communicators. Utility belt. Starship Enterprise. Mr. Spock punch bag. That's actually kind of insulting. Who would want to punch Mr. Spock? Fat Albert. Tricorder. Ah, this actually looks kind of nice. This again, pretty dumb. Star Trek aliens. Okay, there was a Gorn and there was a half white, half black alien, but otherwise than that, it looks kind of stupid. And what's with the ears on Captain Kirk's head? These are some of the comic books. The one on the left, I think, is the the absolute first. I haven't read them yet, but I do have, I think, most of them. Star Trek Concordance. What is this? Oh, so this looks like... Basically, an analog version of Wikipedia. Some novels and the making of Star Trek, a famous book, which Gene Roddenberry wrote only the foreword, but he wrote himself as uh, a co-writer, which was a pretty nasty move from him. This is Gene on a convention speaking. James Duan and some fans. And some... Good looking fans. <laughs> In interesting costumes. Okay, while I personally would never wear something like that on a public event, I must admit that at least they are quite creative, these people. The, the Enterprise Shuttle, the real-life Enterprise Shuttle. And some promotional pictures of our three main heroes. And some pictures of, to me personally, the real hero of the show. The USS Enterprise and the model. Here you can see how it looked inside. And this is how it appeared in the Smithsonian. This is the real model. After its 1990s restoration, now they have done a brand new restoration last year, I think. So now the model looks much better than this. And some promotional pictures of Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. And of course, Gene Roddenberry and the Forest Kelly. And the main bridge crew. Space the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five year mission. The legendary words which started every episode and the Enterprise. And the index. And that means we are at the end. So, if you like this book, don't forget uh, to buy it. Uh, it's still available on Amazon and quite often I can see it on eBay for some cheap price. So, thank you very much for watching these last three weeks. Uh, if you like these little product reviews, I'm trying to do them every week. So, feel free to watch any of the previous videos on my channel and... 
I don't know yet what I'm going to do next week, but uh, the same book was released also for the next generation, so probably I will start with that. So, thank you very much for watching and see you next week. Bye.